So guys, this is my Android phone Poco F4 running the GTA 5 on it. In this video, I want to see how we can run the GTA 5 or any PC games on Android phone using the WinLetter Frost. So let's start this video. So if you have been following me from a long time, you have seen like I already shown you like how to run the PC games or software on Android phone using the Mobox, WinLetter or other means that is possible. And in this video, we are going to cover the WinLetter Frost. So basically, WinLetter Frost is another edition of the normal WinLetter in which you will find a lot of different advantages comparing to the previous version of the WinLetter. So in this video, we are going to see how we can configure it and how we can install and run the GTA 5 on it. So without wasting any more time, let's get into it. So here you can see guys, we are on a smartphone. So the first thing you need to do, you have to go to description, you will find the link to the GitHub page of the WinLetter Frost. Okay, so this is the GitHub profile of the WinLetter Frost. Here you will find all the details regarding the WinLetter Frost, you can go and just read it out. So basically WinLetter Frost is another edition of the normal WinLetter that you normally have used earlier in a smartphone. It comes with pre-installed things that you normally don't have to download and install it again. So to download and install the WinLetter, you have to go to this page, just go to the installation section, there you will find the download section. Just click on this GitHub release. Okay. From here, just slide down and you will find a download APK. So this is the APK that you need to download. It of having size 816 MB. As it has a very large size, so you don't need to download anything again. This will contain all the packages or all the stuff that will be required to install the WinLetter. So just click on it. It will start a download. As I already have it downloaded, I'm not going to download it again. So I will come to cancel it. You can see I already have it downloaded here. So one thing that you need to make sure if you have the older version or the different version of the WinLetter that is a normal version of WinLetter installed in a smartphone, you need to download the, this version that is the bench version. Okay, this bench edition is only for those who have the WinLetter already installed in a smartphone. So once the download is complete, just go to downloads, click on install and install the WinLetter. So this is the WinLetter first, click on install and let the installation complete. So a Google Play Protect pop-up will come up in your screen. It will say like this app is unsafe. You can simply click on more details and click on install anyway. So basically this app might not be signed. That's why it's saying that it's not a safe app, but it's a safe app. I already installed it and tried it. So you can easily install it without any worry. Okay. Click on allow. You can see it's installing the system files. So just wait here and let this process complete. Okay, so now you can see the installation is completed now click on the plus sign here you have to create a new container you can see you can give the name of the container you can give the screen size the wine version so what i'm going to do i'm going to click on this i'm going to give select the wine 9.2 the graphic driver that you need to select is the turnip if you have the snapdragon and if you have the mediatek or any other processor like that you can select the virgil okay so i will select turnip and the DX paper will be DXVK. Audio driver can be ALSA. And you can just keep the show FPS unchecked because you will, uh, by default, you will see the FPS of the games. So no need to set anything here. Here you can select the GPU name, any of the GPU name that you want. It will just simply change the name of the GPU which will display on your screen. Okay. And uh, just slide down here, you will see advanced option. Here you can see you will find the box 86 preset and box 64 preset. So what you have to do, you have to move the compatibility to the performance, the selected performance. You need a performance mode here. So you just select the performance and you have to select all the courses, select all the courses that you can here. Go to the wine configuration and here in the video memory size, select it and give it a 4 GB of memory space. Okay. So select here 4096 MB. So once it's all done, just make sure that you have selected all things like this only. Now click on this tick mark. Now the container has been created here. So now this is basically very much similar to WinLetter that you used. So what you have to do, click on this and click on run. So now you can see it's just started. So by default on the desktop, you will see this TFM or the file manager here through which you can just navigate through your file and just find any of the file that you want to or any of the apps or games that you want to run. So here if you go to the start, 
use the cursor click on start you will see you will find different option here like in the most of the games in the mo box or the box 64 you have seen that there are so much difficulties while running the games you need to download the direct tax you need to download and install the vc redist you will also have to fix some uh, game issues in the unity games so all the fix that you have to go to the google and search it you will have all the things installed in the start menu if you see here if you go to the files you will find the fix unity games you will find a uh, uh, different patches here which is required to fix any kind of the game uh, compatibility issue that you might have faced earlier so this will be a very good thing because earlier in the win later or even in the mobox we have faced so many difficulties while configuring the mobox or win later to run the games now you have all the things pre installed in it you just have to click on it and just fix it okay so the first thing you have to do you have to install the directx okay so i am going to go to the start and install you will find a directx setup just click on it it will start the directx installation go to start again go to install select the vc redist install this one also click on agree click on install so you can see installation for this has been completed now click on close go to start again go to install and see if anything that you need to install for your game so i think most of the things i already installed so now what i'm going to do i'm going to click on the input bridge so basically in the input bridge earlier what you have to do you have to uh, install the input bridge using some files uh, go to the your file manager and you have to install it you will find a uh, install installer of the input bridge here only you can just click on the input bridge and go to the install input bridge it will start the installation of the input bridge and once it is done just click on it start go to the input bridge and click on launch input bridge okay so you can see input bridge already started here so just minimize this screen now what we are going to see we are going to run the gta 5 now let's go to the our download folder so you can see this is grand theft auto 5 and you can see this is gta 5 launcher i'm going to double click on it and just wait here and let the gta 5 launch So here you can see you just click on the input bridge icon you will have all your controls here click on enter you can see now gta5 is loading up so you will find the for winlator for the gta5 will start instantly without giving any so you can see it's opening up so it's on the loading screen and you can see now it's open to the story mode And if you see the fps what we are getting here so the fps here that we are getting here is 230 above 30 so it's a very good fps if you see if you're running it on android phone and even it is a story mode once you go to the uh, pass this mission if you go to the city of the gta 5 you will find a better fps there okay and even you can tweak the uh, winator first you can just change some settings and you can even install the uh, the low graphic mode for gta 5 there you will find a better performance like i already shown you in my mobox video in which uh, i install the low graphic mode in the gta 5 the performance has increased twice and thrice okay so you can see it's very pretty easy to control here everything is working as expected and to change the configuration you can go to the escape and you can change the game resolution make it a full screen and decrease the graphic quality or increase the graphic quality depending on your smartphone performance okay so I'm not going to give the whole gameplay of the GTA 5 in the Winnetor first. Maybe in upcoming videos I will upload a video for that separately. But in this video we just wanted to see how we can install the Winnetor first, how to configure it, and how to start any game. Here I started the GTA 5 in the Winnetor first. Okay. So let me close the GTA 5 here.
so that's all guys for this video i hope you like it and if you're new to our channel don't forget to click on the subscribe button and press the bell icon so you'll never miss any kind of this video i hope you find this video useful and if you face any kind of difficulties if you have any query you just go to the description you will find my instagram profile link just go and message me i will try to help as many people i can okay so have a good day good luck and bye take care